So hello guys and welcome back. Here we are in the Hours Blitz Cup. It's time now for us at third place match between NR Gaming and Dreams. So first things first though, I'm Dax. And I'm Ling. And oi, we are back, Ling. Miss na kita. Kitang kita na. Nandita naman tayo dito para sa ating Auris Blitz Cup. But before we get into our third place match, don't forget, guys, na may giveaway tayo dito. Simple lang naman pag salad dito. Chan, like yun ang yung page at yung share the stream. Of course, tag three friends down below in the comment section. And you are going to be having a chance to join. Not only do we have Auris pillows, watches, playing cards, and folding chairs up for grabs that we have already seen given out to some of the winners there, but also, remember, Pa tayong grand fights na yung Aros X570 Elite Motherboard. You know, ako laptop user so ayaw ko na kung paano ko isasaksak talaga yung mga ganun. Pero I, I want that one. Sayang hindi ako pwede sumali. Pero you know that you are gonna be able to win big dito sa ating Aros Split Cup. But not only that, you know who else might be able to win big is whoever wins this match link. Kasi ang manalo dito may 5,000 pesos para sa isang best of one lang. Mm, 5,000 pesos and again, it's a total of 50,000. Fortunately, these two players are going to be battling out for third, but still, it's a lot. Making it to the top three only means that you're literally one of the best teams that competed in this Blitz Cup tournament and could actually be placing yourself all towards a ranking as of the moment. But if we can see where we and our gaming, we're going to be seeing more action on towards this gameplay, on towards from their gameplay. And of course, for the side of Dreams, which actually played out Pretty close matches, I might have to say, in the best of three series that they won. Ayon talaga yun, de ba? Grabe yung series, especially from Dreams and Affinity kanina. That one lasted quite a while, and it was quite a close one. In the meantime, NR Gaming, one of our newest up and coming teams, it's already a big surprise. It's already a big feat. Umabot sila dito ng top four, but of course against a powerhouse that is Empire Esports, it's of course it's gonna be a hard fought battle. But what did you notice here, Link? Between our two teams, ano kaya mo pwede nila ilabas para sa ating best of one. Well, especially sa mga side, uh, especially sa lineup ng Dreams, one thing that we really have to take note is they're completely sticking it up for those unorthodox picks, especially in basically any map that they play in. Kasi they have been going on for that old, I might have to say, that old school standard play, which is the double sentinel lineup. I mean, honestly, in this case, in this time, I might have to say, you don't see much of those plays that often. Nikita mo talaga the new standard is basically either running in on so like either running in a double duelist or this time again the na na team affinity esports na ang triple duelist. But for the side of dreams, they made it happen still. It's old school, but it still works para sa kanila. Alam talaga nila that they could actually make this happen once again on this best of one series, considering that they're playing on heaven. In Haven, rather, I might have to say, a double sentinel is going to be a good way to go and at least take away a game. Yeah, kita kita talaga. We play that double sentinel. You have three sides to work with, so it's easier to leave them alone there. But in the meantime, I've actually got a chance to watch NR Gaming very very recently, and they like to play in a very slow fashion. Parang naganap sila ng mga opportunities para lang mga push, and if they find a way to make it happen, then they do go for it. So opportunistic talaga ang laro dito na NR Gaming. In the meantime, para sa Dreams, they did have a number of mechanical advantages from when they first came in, but at the same time, they've been Getting comfier and comfier with a composition of choice. And kita kita natin dito para sa dreams. It's double insult, double duelist, and the omen. In the meantime, for NR Gaming, it will be that double duelist, the Sova, the omen. And interesting enough, it's gonna be Harakiri on that sage. Well, interesting then that they did manage to at least I mean, decide to even change up the lineup here. Double info na make it at dito. But meanwhile, for the side of the attacking, this is not exactly quite a favorable thing to that they could actually do. Case okay, so I've seen them uh, like have those last minute executes not being paying out so well, considering that they go, they are easily being countered out by Sova plays here. I mean, letting them play out for dark objective, sure. But you know, yeah. I've kind of noticed thing one thing's for sure coming out from this uh, coming out from this team on attacking is that they struggled so much especially on post plans and i could not i could hardly even imagine for them to at least make the same same mistakes on on this game here on haven yeah it's a bit of redemption here for both sides they want to win at least that 5k here and now it's a best of one lang naman eh. so it's already a good money match for them in the first place 50k on the line dito sa atin our split cup but haraki are gonna be getting on the court crazy kid in the meantime with a refrag one for one trade so far and our gaming though getting the opportunities they're looking for and a good rush down through seaside changing the pace 
immediately throwing us how it's done. Jollibee gonna be getting on the board. Tongue Twister talaga. You got the likes of Jollibee. You got the likes of the V on the other side as well. And NR Gaming right now having the advantage. Motskito already with the push. Sees the jet there. And Jollibee gonna be going down. Harakiri committing Seppuk in there because of the two shots immediately. Motski gonna get three. Puro na lang headshot dito. And make it for the quad beat with the ghost. Dreams already starting things off with an amazing, amazing retake. I mean, I've seen this player pop off before on towards the previous map. But then again, Mode skates back at it again. But this time with a different duelist that comes into play para sa kanya. Pretty much, pretty much a pretty consistent play. And of course, a player talaga that you really have to look forward to. Especially on making the frags happen to the team. And going in for the hard carry once again. But it's, it's honestly something talaga that you really have to take note upon. For the side of Dreams, it's not going to be just the one-man one man effort that we should be expecting it still has to be everyone here making a huge contribution and making those wins happen which is definitely definitely something that we notice coming out from the retake it's not just the frags it's also the setup that go on among support players i mean that's a really good point that Motsky wouldn't be able to get in that position in the first place without that setup without that intel and without a bit of those sidelines but for now crossfaded starting things off curveball muna jan talikot simples para lang mamatay specter in hand 5v3 the phoenix though gonna be able to heal them if they do have a bit of that utility and Jollibee floating on around trust trying to glide in the middle still though for NR gaming they're already down by two members down by two three people love to even play at this objective and crazy kid we're in that tripwire is going to be destroyed almost immediately coming out from the garage bush of course cloudburst to even deny information but Stitch is making stitches of this game 2-0 so far on the game and of course a three piece to even top it off coming coming out from that seaside hold you know what they say, snitches get stitches. So does that make NR Gaming a snitch? Apparently, though, because huling huli si the ditches done another multi kill here from Dreams, and already a good highlight reel for both Modski and Ditches so far. Operator though. Early invested para dito kay Modski. He's feeling very, very confident right now versus NR Gaming. NR Gaming, though, gonna have the rifle so far. And what do you think the, this team needs to do? Is this gonna be their chance to prove themselves, or will Dreams be able to figure it out again? I mean, uh, for for this time around, Dreams have definitely figured out their way on situations that are not supposed to be favorable for them. And I've seen them win rounds that are not supposed to be theirs for the taking. Just how we are going to be seeing here, na ginagawa din ng NR Gaming, who are going to be trying their best to at least mga ang kapat ng gameplay na ginagawa, ng, uh, ginagawa with aggressive type of aggressive stance na ginagawa here for the side of Dreams where, where we actually going to be seeing them completely being punished for that. Oh, that's gonna be trades though. Toby at least catching out Bliss, and here comes Jabbily this time coming on in and getting that take down. 4v2 Muna Dito. Good entries there by the Reina to open up that side. But at the same time, parang medyo peekaboo ICU na lang dito because they are gonna be moving over to C side instead. Spike being planted on town. Crazy to go. Gonna have the angle here and Jabbily running around with a knife. Sabi nga ng ating mga magula. Wag kayo tumakbo. Hawak hawak ang mga matatalim at yun na talaga yun. Unfortunate. Just didn't have the gun out. 3v2 though. And NR Gaming in a pretty good spot so far, but here comes Dreams. Here comes Dreams. They could actually play around this camera and they iwanan talaga nila on towards Garage to even further make sure that no one is going for the post plant. They are gonna be isolating themselves on towards the side. Crazy Kid flanking his way on towards C Long. No one is gonna be holding off for that angle. And again, he is gonna be able to take out one, possibly the second one on towards the Omen, sprays towards the wall. The Sage is being spotted out. He repositioned himself, not even letting Dream so at least buy enough time to even go in for the defuse. And this is a round on the board for the side of NR Gaming. Yeah, NR Gaming making that opportunity happen to themselves. Sakto open lang galing sa Reina at bigla ng lahat sa C side. Even though Crazy Kid got so many good angles there during that round. The time it took for him to make it do that long, long journey. At kitang kita talaga here on Aven, it's quite a walk to make it from A to C. And especially if you're slow walking, sure you're not making any noise, but at the same time, it takes even longer. So a great round there for us the NR Gaming. They realized what they can do. And if they can trust Jabali to make it happen more so, doing some A site and just get that distraction on again, will it be another chance for them to get around? Jollibee though in the fire, doesn't care and does get wall back there by crossfaded. Too ambitious by the jet. I mean, it's quite unfortunate that he didn't even land that, uh, land his shots, even connected still. The but for, for this time around, NR Gaming, 
It's quite unfortunate that they're, they're aggressive plays and the slow pace, I might have to say, slow pace defaults, I might have to say, and definitely notice, have not been paying off so well in the early parts of the game. But I've seen them rise back up to their feet on how they even uh, how they even play around with just four people inside their lineup. And all of a sudden, it's one less duelist for Dreams to actually worry about. But still, a controller smoke, a recut bolt, and the rain, I might have to say, that could make a huge difference on towards this game. And we'll see though how NR Gaming is going to play this. There's a lot of potential in this squad. Yun nga talaga eh. Making it to the top four is already an amazing feat being featured here during the Arrows Blitz Club. But this is their chance to shine. This is their chance to show us that they can make it at least to that bronze medal. Toby though, holding on. Kerbal now going to get thrown here by the teams. Crossfaded going to get that kill. Malapitan na naman laro dito. Crossfaded. Mukha ito na si Haraki. Papa back off. Three kills now for the Phoenix. Zofri and Bliss. Don't get on the board. And here comes the paranoia from above. But Zofri still alive. Ito na si Haraki. Rebooking Mag set up muna siya ng wall At kitang kita Holy holy is crazy At yung ulo na Omen though Pansin pa rin At ito na si Ditches He's having to deal with a 1v2 Rez though is available Spike now gonna get planted No it doesn't Harakiri trying to go for the fake And Ditches throwing everything To get a new gun Talon muna dyan 6-3 HP Zofri gonna make that kill happen Ambitious yun Ganon kay Ditches Pwede pwede na sana Pero si Zofri Nabuhay pa rin At 3 HP The dream alive here For NR Gaming Man that was almost A close call For the highlight Play na ginagawa on the ditches coming out like literally descending from the heavens and securing that kill on towards the sage was big enough to actually have us a huge high hopes and playing that for the clutch but unfortunately it was not only the time pressure that made uh, made Zopri to even have that point of this desperation to even play out with the classic it was literally something that he made themselves like a huge individual play that won out the ground once again for the side of the attacking yeah, that was just so good there. There's a bit of smarts from NR Gaming, but more of that clutch factor yet again making that difference. So if we see NR Gaming, yung konting step up lang talaga sa mga players nila, no matter when during that round. Hindi naman kailangan clutch na clutch talaga at the very end. But that they get a bit of a setup, they're able to execute on it. So this is going to be bearing pretty well for NR Gaming. If they can make this happen more so, kung konti pang makuha nilang rounds, yung makakatulong talaga sa scoreline nila. Dreams though, they know how to be overwhelming. They know that they can just punish the opposition if they all show up in their faces and if it's a direct comeback you gotta back on dreams there well they really have to get back up here para sa side nila because it's still a tight out, tight out scoreline and it could still be anyone's round at this point given that how well dreams rather yeah. is trying to micro out basically anyone here they are basically prepared for the seaside push that they or it could possibly be being planning out coming out from the side of nr gaming the Omen has the paranoia out. No one is going to be there to destroy the recon ball. Charlie be making an opening. Stitch is not even able to at least go in for the huge answer back with the paranoia. He is going to be holding on to this life. X faded, leading up the parade with his running back. And of course, he has a second life to even, to even turn around on. But meanwhile, para sa atin dito, they still have the recon ball. No objectives being made just yet. Shock to even zone everyone out on towards the side. And our Blaze having a huge answer back. Headshot on towards X faded. Not going to be here for the equation. It's all left in the hands of Toby, who's gonna be getting Toby. a 2k so far. Can he do it though? I'll drone Muna Dita Par Makaskat. Hunter's Fury available. NR Gaming though, able to get that spike down eventually. And the shock are from Toby actually is stalling good time. But still, the recon bolt gonna be there. Kunting tingin muna dito. Ito na naman kagad yung shock. Tad mapapatulak si Toby into the recon vault. And Bliss will use that insult to get that take down. Pag napilitan ka lang mga tulak. Pero huling huli ka pa rin. Di yan na magagawa mo. Di wala. NR Gaming. They just use the tools there of the Sova. And there you go again. Another play be made this time by Bliss. They made sure that that was theirs. Man, it was... Just goes down to whoever is gonna be making those uh untimely pushes get immediately punished. That point of desperation that they put out uh, coming out from the commitment of the running back with everyone just basically gonna be swarming on the side with little to no information on wh wherever the opponents are gonna be at. This is where we actually gonna be seeing dreams like putting everything like putting everything in a basket that that, that basically crashed down on crashed down all the way from the sixth floor and did not even pay them out. Out so well in this game. 
Yeah, Toby though, going for the shot. Seems like for Dreams, the plan of action is to play the upgraded pistols to start things off. Ito na si Jabili at si Jollibee. Kiisipin mo, pareho silang tao, pero hindi talaga eh. Bidang bida ang saya at bidang bida kung sila ang makakakuha ng pitas dito. Ito na daw si Harakiri, mga katalawa. Sabi niya, ito na nga nga to. I will do it myself. Jollibee though, pushing on forward, throwing those clubbers down. And immediately, NR Gaming with such a good setup. Look how quick they did it. And Harakiri just giving notice at the same time. Man, they definitely had taken that into notice. And of course, this could not go unnoticed on how they basically just gonna be making those immediate frags to even happen on the worst game. Huge backup, I might have to say, coming out from the chat. Updraft, of course, securing another frag, making A side completely open. But then again, there is gonna be a crossfire. Maho and at Dito, and you're definitely gonna be witnessing on towards hell, on towards, on towards CT entrance. You can destroy the wall. Let me make sure the swing to even happen. We look at ditches. There's nothing much you could do with the Spectre besides he fully utilize that rate of fire. And of course, he is going to be anticipating the plank, but crazy good setting himself up for the um, exit frags. A little bit of patience go. here. Oh. Yes. Can he get away though? That's the question. No. That's crazy kid. Oh, that was so close. Para kay crazy. Makuha siya ng pinasana. Ditches also getting caught in the blast rages. But the big thing NR Gaming right now is really doing is how they're using that stage. Harakiri not only getting the kills, but sakto talaga yung setup ng wall. Slow orbs also to just get the zone on. And in those side sides, especially on A side, ilang beses natin nakikita yung effectivity ng agent na to. Pag na-separate mo talaga yung isang entry point ng defense, ng taga-retake ng side, then it is just an easier time to hold so well played there by NR Gaming it feels like these are pocket shots for them that they have been practicing ito yung mga comfort picks nila at ay nalabas na nila dito para lang makaabot ng third place for Hunter's Fury mo na ang palag ngayon Dreams gonna be trying to go for the whittle down trying to go all the way from the other side Toby though safe in a link but besides that doesn't really get too much out of that ultimate not only much, he got nothing out of that utility that he committed on towards early parts of the game and this is where actually going to be seeing NR Gaming having full awareness that they didn't have to really deal much about the Sova given that the annoying utility that could easily get them to even zone off on toward the side something that could have been used to even delay out the plant or at least the man cancel that out but that's no longer in no longer the option here for the side of dreams we could see NR Gaming a little bit too confident with their swings here X Faded punishing everyone there who's gonna be going in for the C long narrow passage rate that they have to really consider and it's almost immediate the team dreams be putting this one on a 3v2 in situation still exactly 3v2 and that is the classic dreams play and there you go again Modski gonna make that double kill so very sweet for team dreams and this is what i want to see from dreams they just say you know screw all the rotations screw all of that let's just go for the direct fight and cross faded he literally got in the way of Seelong. It reminds me the first time I ever saw the Dreams team. He just decided to do that too. He he left, I think he was playing Killjoy all the way back then. He leaves his stuff and just like, I'm just gonna go in and take people down. At yun lang yun lang natin na naman dito sa Dreams. Pag linabas na talaga nila yung tutok nila, dun sila pumapalag the best. They have been learning the game more and more every single tournament and it really is a growing process for them. For job Lido, he has to be a bit careful kasi wallbang na naman dyan. Double stack dun sa B side. It is gonna be a bit too cautious here for NR Gaming though. So they will have to back on away and they are stacking over to that A side. Honestly, for for how those how the runs are basically going to be going out, you don't see this much too often that people are like heavily, I mean, rather uh, constantly contesting for uh, mid nest, and of course that's going to be an easy target for uh, basically anyone who's uh, watching all the way throughout uh, either top side B or either B entrance because the, that angle could actually get you completely punished, not only with the utility but also with anyone who's going to be holding. At uh, that angle, though, just how we are going to be seeing bitches picking out that oh stage almost immediately with that swing on towards double doors. Yeah, first, if first you don't succeed, try and try again, and that's what Ditches does. They lost one member with that double door peak. Jollibee, though, holding close by the cloud burst, and Toby gonna be able to get the free frag after the takedown on the mode ski. But yeah, it's just interesting that Dreams, not pagana na no second time. Toby, though, quite low guy, he will fall to the hand of Zopri. It's been a good effort by the Omen, but you know who else has been doing a good job? You Omen, Reno Kabila. Ditch is gonna get that final kill. We are all tied up. The streak of four by NR Gaming gonna get cancelled out after the two two sets of dreams man the dreams still are still gonna be living out para sa anila for i mean four four for everyone else that's a tie out still still gonna be anyone's game though but 
of course, we looking in on towards the economy and whatever and our gaming could still afford here on this game. I mean, there's not much they could actually play around with. Sure, some UV upgrades here and there, upgrade crystals, yes. If you like armors, utilities, I mean, it is gonna be coming out. But it all goes down to how will they execute and how well played out. Uh, how well played out will the rounds will actually be? They'll be easily punished on whatever the defending side has basically been able to answer back for them. That's a huge thing for them to even watch out for the Phoenix, which is something that rather NR Gaming wasn't well prepared for. Yeah, NR Gaming on ready whatsoever. They were just not expecting that kind of play from Dreams. And now it is going to be crossfaded yet again. Going for it. Sap to punish Last lang play. ang laro dito ng NR Gaming. Vandalo para kay Blaze low HP. For holding a Phoenix Fed. not enough. If you whiff shots against Dreams, you are going to get punished for it immediately. Crossfaded. Gets the turn around and does get that takedown. Well played there para sa ating Phoenix. 10 kills para sa kanya. Ditch is also up there with 10. Zopri leading the charge parts at NR Gaming with 9 but NR Gaming now gonna have 4 ultimates including the res and that might give the edge coming into this round huge edge that they could take and of course probably sharp enough to cut everyone down from NR Gaming and the makita natin dito they are gonna forcing I mean rather they are gonna be able to at least force out this by runs even happen for them but those far power, I mean, whatever they have on the arsenal could actually be put up to waste once Mozi is going to be making that initial frag on towards one. Initiator being left out on the line and of course being deleted and taken down by this you jet player who has been line. very mobile in this site. <laughs> the thing is, though, Ling, is you know what deletes the deletion, the resurrection. Harakiri, rest muna jan. Not only that, he, he, he's not just your healer. He apparently get get those kills too. Sakno pitas lang kaagad kung si crossfaded si dreams ngayon. Luging luging na sila. Na isang ever dito after you know that initial up shot. And you would think that this could have been really good for dreams, but apparently it is still gonna be Bodski on the prowl. Jabali gonna be falling there. It's gonna be time for NR Gaming to retake their plan. Kung nanjan para niyo jet na may operator. They either have to go fast or throw down those smokes. Speaking of the setup though now, look what's here for Dreams. Crazy kid up on top. Perfect place to go for the Cypher Cages as well as the Trip Bar. Ilang beses natin nakita yung Heaven Hole dito galing sa isang Cypher. For si Jollibee, ang pwedeng pwede makasura dyan. Ayun na nga yung updraft. Ayun na yung Tailwind. High ground muna para Crazy Kid. Pero ito na yung From the Shadows. Punta na rin. Si Bliss though, nasa sulok lang dito. Dreams right now, double stacking on the high ground. But the spike can get planted here by NR Gaming. I mean, Operator retake, man, that's a, a huge challenge that the jet player really has to even take. But of course, he's gonna be forcing himself out with this blade sword. The shock starts to even get further information. There goes the burst, goes in for the swing on towards hell, could actually go in for the ace, but unfortunately, that's gonna be taken away by his teammate. Of course, Sopri knows where to look. Man, dreams. He's still alive here. Dreams is not only alive, they are in control. 6 to 4, taking this lead and running away with it. Sila rin mga 4 streak dito. And kitang kita talaga na linabas na talaga ng dreams. Ang pinaka simple plan in love. Just get the kills and just do whatever the hell needs to be done along the way. Modski they are getting for including that initial pick that turned into a resurrection. NR Gaming committing their ultimates. But at the same time, yung dreams may linabas rin na blade storm at yung from the shadows. Sak ng rotate lang, sak ng pwesto lang. Pwede, pwede na retake doon ng dreams and they basically nullify what Harakiri is able to do if they're able to get that heaven control if they're able to put the punishment on and just surprise out of nowhere doon sa mga sites na hindi pala maa-affect ng slow orb they doon talaga makakatulong yun para sa dreams at doon talaga maging alanganin ang setup ng NR Gaming look at look at what happened just a while ago they, it wasn't just that they committed errors that they really shouldn't be having at this point putting dreams on two point gap I mean Sure, but this is supposed to be where the attacking side are supposed to have the advantage. They haven't even got the openings, but you know the most that they could is to deal with the problem on how Modski has been basically been setting himself up too comfortably on towards the side, securing frags as easy as it is. But of course, you miss those easy shots, you are going to get punished for that. But uh, there's no follow-up coming in from NR Gaming. An earlier station being committed. There goes Hunter's Fury. Of course, it's not going to be able to connect just yet that you're targeting information. So be putting out the reveal the recon bot I might have to say and we are gonna be putting NR gaming in the hands of Jolly Jabili to even play this one out on its own. But there goes a flank coming out from the Phoenix. Oh no Empress. Not be expecting this. 
This, he has to be very careful, Ling. At yun talaga yung highlight mga katulong sa kanya. And that's the thing about the Empress. You would think that's not a big deal. Pero pag mag flick kang ganun, tas nalala mo, Uy, bakit may red highlight nun? Pwede ka bumalik. Dami itong reticle mo. At yun na yung kinakailangan para lang makakuha ng pitas. NR Gaming gonna be able to use that Insta Devar. And Jabili moving over to Seaside. Incredible Hunter's Fury though from NR Gaming. But you know what else is coming? Toby with Hunter's Fury. Pero man, uh, look the other way please. Kasi Seaside ang plan dito ni Jabili. Papunta na daw ang double intel kinakailangan dreams makita muna yung Reyna bago sa lahat mawawala na daw yung Empress Phantom in hand the fire rate gonna be gone there but it's up to the side of dreams to go for the peak and get that takedown crazy kid insane of the membrane to get that 3k and speaking of 3 this now gonna be a 3 round lead para sa dreams 3 round lead dreams winning a few um, rounds in the row my have to say that was 3 3 rounds being taken away but still Pretty bad use of the Hunters for you. I might have to say that was a misread coming out from their Soba. But still, a win is a win. And it's good enough for me for Dreams to actually make out this lead so far in the game. And you're going to be able to have a good Dream here. And if Dreams is able to take the win, then they're going to be able to have a good night at the very least getting that third place for NR Gaming. They've shown their strength so far. And they've shown if they can make an opportunity for themselves, they're able to take it. That's really it. Sometimes we see teams that even if they do it right, Hindi pa rin nila kaya, you know, kaya asikasuin yun. They're not able to really capitalize on it. Compared to NR Gaming, is when they make that play, they really make it happen. Problem is though, can they make that play happen in the first place against Stream? That has been the problem so far because as soon as they try, they die. And for NR Gaming, they're gonna try, try, try again. I mean, try and try, and of course, there's literally no point in time that you're allowed to surrender on towards this matchup. It is gonna be fun. It is gonna be a lot of money to even be at stake for this tournament, and we could actually see them trying and making their way once and going in for that aggressive push, not really getting enough info. But of course, he's gonna be able to be punished for that. Blizz with a sneaky push, Toby with an answer back. Might have to say. Jollibee is forced out to even go and regroup with his team. They are inclining more on towards his B-side execute. But of course, spitting out that wall to divert their attention on towards the site they're not going to be committing fully into. Of course, for the side of NR Gaming, they're going to be baiting out the fakes. Try to at least gain further map control with those smokes. But Modski is still going to be a problem for them. He has an operator. He misses, no, not exactly misses those shots. Getting to so far. The objective is going to be met though. For NR Gaming. And see, Modski might actually get an idea on where the jet could possibly be. The Cloudburst is gonna be getting on the way. Jollibee, no, I think he's out live out too soon. But Modski, huge impact kills to even make the round happen for the side of dreams. Yeah, he hits those, and you know what else is gonna be hitting here? Dreams up by four as we get into their attack. So, tingnan natin nga kung paano lalarin to ng Dreams. Double intel on Haven attack means they're gonna be able to get a lot of sightlines, a lot of spots, and the trip bar is gonna be helpful for the anti flank in the first place. In the meantime, para sa NR Gaming, yun nga, Sage ang lalarin nila dito. And the question is, where they even set up that Sage? Usually, you see her at B side. Set up ng wall dun sa gitna, just wall it off. And make it that dreams has to go somewhere else but then it is gonna be easy to answer there as we get a quick little tech boss right now for dreams to just manhandle and go for the push onto a single site anyway so how do you think nr gaming is to play this thing because for now in terms of their defensive lineup it might not be the strongest coming into this next round i mean might not be the strongest but there's something about this team that literally makes everything try they literally try their at their best to actually make everything work for this side although we haven't really seen them uh like make that situation even happen or make that scenario be even played out or reenacted or coming up from the attacking side i mean play Playing with a sage and literally no sentinel in there, no other sentinel in their equation. I mean, a killjoy could come into play, but a killjoy could possibly be extremely useful in this situation. But we cannot even see that. I'm quite curious on how they're going to be playing out this sage. I mean, an annoying wall on towards double doors could possibly be enough to stall out this garage take. But looking at their positioning right now, they could be uh, manning their way heavily on towards C site and could possibly be. Uh, letting any point of entry on towards B-side be completely open for the side of Dreams this time around. 
I mean, that's a good point right there. Because the B-side naman, pwede pwede nila i-retake. And that is where the Sage can come in very well. Stole orbs onto the corners. A wall also to separate the opposition if ever. And even go for the wall in the middle. That's when they can use it. So they can you can go for the more standard play, but at a different time. So NR Gaming, konting theory crafts lang muna kung paano sila set up. Ayun na nga si Harakiri ang nag-iintay dito sa may window. Nag-iintay dun sa may B mismo. And might be the anchor of Here. this defense. But we'll find out. Because it's time for the stack. As you mentioned, two on C, two on A strut. Baka mag-push nga dito ang ating Reyna at even the Sova. So if Bliss can really help out with a Shock Dart or two to get a good tag, it might be an opportunity for the Reyna to get the Devar on. But we'll find out as we get into this round who's going to be able to get the tempo into the second half. Will it be Dreams building this lead? Can NR Gaming just be able to get a bit of the comeback as he crossfaded ang bumubisa dito? Hold close muna sa Sova. Bantay sarado. Intay-intay lang dyan. Si Jambi di makakuha na dalawa muna. At ito na si Toby magagaling sa A-Long. Pero si Bliss stuck tang talaga ang pantay dito ang linis para sa NR Gaming kuha ka na lang ng broom at taspan kasi NR Gaming flawless win sa ating pistol round sa second half I mean man that bait and switch setup no one even bothered to check out the Sova was just basically chilling in the corner right there letting letting Jabili do all the work here but then again it was a team effort still everyone was just too busy looking at the reina and of course the man without too busy looking at the reina the reina did they'll put a lot of work during that situation and of course leaving nothing leaving literally leaving no frags for Sova to even take oh, really? even though that was supposed to be his for the for for him to even have I mean, he he got one out of fifty. Sabi niya, oh, you say no, Ian. That's <laughs> uh, that's what you get. Pwede na to. I'll, I'll take it. Kanting extra money sa na parang tipong binigyan ka ng isapang bente ng tatay mo para sa allowance mo. So, no, you can't go wrong with that. But here we go again. Dreams right now. Guys, be a bit careful here because NR Gaming showing their stuff on the defense. You know, we will try to figure out how they're gonna be playing it out. But if they can get those kills anyway, and they know how to play those two stacks along the way, then that's gonna be really good here for NR Gaming. Because hindi naman sila sobrang umasa. Utility. They're going for the positioning instead. They're going for that teamwork, and that would be amazing for them. But Harakiri, though, wins the fight out here in the window. But crossfaded, hopping on around like a bunny, and is able to make it to the window there and take Harakiri's life. Share muna do para kay Modski, and paranoia, tata pachan. Si Zopin makapitas crossfaded now with a burn, but it's still NR in control. 3v1, Ditch is all alone. The rotations are coming, and Jollibee with the flag, but Ditch just gets that takedown. 15 HP, TP fake muna sa pupunta lang sa loob ng cloud. First, but Ditch is able to do it again. The shots don't connect them from Jabili. 1v1. This time, Bliss will be able to save the day. But Dreams, this team can always put up a fight, can't they? Oh my god, they're putting up a fight. They're trying to outplay their enemies though for the side for their side, but unfortunately, it was something that NR Gaming definitely took away. I mean, they had everything been laid out for that route and given that in that situation, but it's just they have to really deal with the problem. Nah, in terms of posi positionings and basically anything else, like the angles. I mean, NR Gaming unknown. saw everything coming. I mean, they were anticipating that, but it's just quite unusual that you lose those situations, talaga. Especially when then some just predictable shroud stuff plays coming out from the omen. It's quite unfortunate, but of course, it's still around being one coming out from the defense. I mean, they at least they salvaged it. You know, it's you don't hit those shots, then you kind of deserve to die. That's that's the most basic rule of tactical shooters. You gotta hit those when you're able to get the good angle in the first place. Jabili though, not gonna be the best angle. Hot tans katabilang niya. Shock dart time. At mga ayon niya classic crossfade the mga patay the delay damage is really scaring Jabili off. And dreams making the opening not just once but twice. Crazy kid gonna get on the board. Seaside right for the taking. Dito para sa team dreams bliss in the meantime. In the lineup niya yung setup dito sa A side. But I realized that this is what we are doing. I'm going to go back to the Sea. And they're Crazy Kid leading the charge. Here comes the Jet though, trying to anticipate. 8 to 6 scoreline. NR Gaming still trying to get this control back. But it seems like for Dreams, they're manhandling and they're going the way of Sea sites. I mean, they're going away and running away with this side take still. But for the side of NR Gaming, they could not even do anything right now given that Bliss has gone out too early on towards this round. There goes the Operator Bliss from coming out from Harry Regan. Of course, yeah. he is not going to be able to save that one out given that crazy kid. He's going to be getting that three piece and of course, trying to at least get that point of redemption for Dreams. Yeah, man. 
Dreams, at the very least, getting that third round turned around. They needed that one. This is that was their gun round, and now they are gonna have the arsenal still. In the meantime, though, Paras and our gaming on three shares. Munang lalaro na dito. Zopri, Bliss, and Javli gonna be the ones doing it. And you gotta give it. Oh, okay, nice, nice updrop there to for Modski. Pero yung nga sa ko lang eh, Zopri has been doing such a good job here, Paras and our gaming. He's got the top frags. It hasn't been the best day para sa ating mga duels. You'd expect them to be the ones getting those takedowns, especially the Reina because her whole kit revolves around those orbs, around the, those kills. And we'll see if they can step it up, Paras and our gaming though. Aggressive defense muna dito. They want to surprise dreams in the meantime. Who is going to be moving over to that A side? They won muna yung spike though, pero mo na realize na dreams na free to for the taking. They dash on in and they will be setting up that post plan. Setting post plan? I mean, the wall doesn't even exactly have to uh, close out the side here for the side of the Phoenix. But then again, it's still a situation to definitely have to even play around on. Especially for Toby, who did manage to get a few frags on towards that part of the map. But it does start to look like that Dreams, or rather NR Gaming, still gonna be putting up an effort here. here. Trying to creep their way towards the side, even though it does having those pistols. But again, the spray towards the smoke, definitely gonna be kicking in. Especially for the side of Dickies. Zofri getting one on the board, but unfortunately, it's the strike is going to be ended almost immediately on towards this round. Yeah, and Dream's going to be up by four after that one. Ditches though, triple double Muna para sa kanya. You don't see the 10 assists on the Omen too often, but you gotta give it to him. His paranoias have been so, so clean and Chris really helping on out the team. And he's just always in position. Guys, sa mga TPs niya para makatulong sa pamamarila. So, good stuff here from the side of Dream's crossfaded though, up on top with 16. But with a scoreline like this and with kills like that para sa ating attack side ngayon, it really goes to show it's such a big team effort but you know what have they have the effort on against now link that is going to be the operator hot hands though perfectly placed and when you go for utility usage details my double doors it's all about that mid control sometimes it's a slow rv for playing that stage but here for the phoenix again hot hands ang sagot running back though gonna get denied immediately 5v5 still one ultimate though expended nana three sa simotski mauhulin niya si jabili jan si ditch na naghahanap ng sino pa nagbabatay dito at ayan yung zova huling huling mozki can get that second kill well, they beat out so much, a lot of uh, they beat out so much, a lot of presence here on towards mid control. But exactly. still, little boy, little does uh, NR Gaming know that a side is gonna be there. Uh, a side is gonna be one side that they're gonna be committing on. And uh, for them, for this time around, it really isn't much that they could work around besides these SMG buys. And of course, they had Megita X faded being cancelled out with that flank that a gunning coming up from B. And NR up. Gaming. Still gonna be left for these three players to even play out the clutch. Jollibee could not even afford losing this operator for this round, but they still, it's a still an effort that they're gonna be trying out. And we are gonna be seeing Justin Bit once he's gonna be playing out with this paranoia. The time pressure coming out. And for this time around, they haven't gotten anything from those pushes. Oh my god, Sobi is setting up that crossfire. The paranoia into the peak was actually maybe like 0.25 too early. You still have a semblance of what to come. That was really well timed in the way. But the problem is not because it's not about that. In the side of it is just a bit too eager to try and get that take down. It's a good. It was like a really good play on paper. It was really good if you only look at that first flash. But at the same time, if you're still in the side of it, then you need to have a bit more time before anything else and our gaming showing that they are trying to play it really well synced and this is ha this has really brought them to the top four for good reason they have learned some of the nuances of the game and they have been rising and rising into the scene because of it where at the same time kitang kita parsa dreams again let's just go for the push let's set on up and get those skills it's simple and clean parsa dreams every single time and they can fight against the best of the best because of their just raw mechanics and they're very you know i just say it's just very simple Straight line, straightforward approach, and Harakiri don't catch it up. Motsuki, but this is already getting through, and Dreams does get the the more advantageous trade yet again. I, mean, I just don't see the point of making things a little bit more complicated than it actually is. The end uh, Dreams rather know how the game is supposed to be played, and they shouldn't make things a little bit harder for your team. I mean, yes, you're just a starter, and like this is something that that, I got, that you really sh like advanced mechanics. You really should be coming into play, especially in competitive gameplay. But then again. You really shouldn't be putting yourself in a position that you're not exactly comfortable with, especially when you're still going to be experimenting around that. But just how we are going to be seeing this, Jollibee, 
nalabas pa nga ang Braid Blade Storm dito. Although, he is gonna be deciding to play this one out for the save para sa kanyang 5,000 credits that will not be put up to waste. I mean, 1,000 credits is still 1,000 credits and they could not afford losing this gun that could be, be possibly be a huge turnaround of events uh, that could, uh, no, that could uh, propel to something different here in this game. Uh, ito yung tanong ko sa'yo, Lingy. Ilang, ilang yung burger mabibili mo sa 5,000 credits? Oh parang, my God. <laughs> parang you marami, no? You don't need credits, Doc. So you yeah. need pesos. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Uh, But you know, the, off, the, the operator to yung burger value. You gotta consider that. Kung, kung talawa sa inyong pangalan, Jollibee at Javeli, I think that's the metric system that they're really going for. But right now, there's only one meritocracy here. It's that scoreline. Dreams. On the match point, it is their time to shine. They had an amazing semi-final match up there, and they always are able to make it happen for two to one in the game and the scoreline in favor of the other team. That was Affinity making that victory happen, but for now, Dreams might be able to do it here for NR Gaming. Spoiling his parade, getting two so far. Though be in the meantime with a kill on the Bliss, though, and that's a fine opportunity for us at Dreams. Empress, though, gonna get popped here by Jabili. NR Gaming gonna be still moving on around. Arrest available. Empress is there. New operator, Nana Jet, on Pwede pa sa at po mga ipit mo na dito on dreams. Toby gonna be playing on the cubby with the spike, and it seems like the Aldron gonna be leading the charge and looking around for a target or two. And they needed the information to even adjust their plans around that. Although Harakiri is making sure that this is at any point in time not gonna be putting in the hands of uh, on the hands of dreams once again. They've lost crucially enough rounds, and of course they could not afford losing this one again. Eco res though, interesting. And our gaming gonna be going for the eco res there. The thing about playing the eco res in this point is they are they could have actually used that resurrection fire around the one that's the But at the same time, because they feel that they're na gipit pa sa pera, they do get that sova on back para makuha siya ng barrel, and everyone gonna be fully kitted here for the defense. It's a do or die situation talaga, and we'll see if Harakiri's I'd say decision will it pay off or not. Could they actually have used this resurrection in this round? High side is 2020, but we're gonna be seeing another round unfold. Operator na naman naghanap tapara na makuha ng pitas pero si crossfaded ngayon dito sa may C nako contest. Kuha mo na na capture orb dito. Ready with the run it back and maybe two lives gonna be better than one para makapitas dito ang ating phoenix. Two lives. I mean, he could not even come come into playing resurrection that he should have been using for this round. But then again, it is going to be starting to look a little bit shaky coming out from NR Gaming, given that those decision making, given that the decision making that did a while ago won them the round. But of course, I might have to say, uh, invested so much coming out from that play. But then again, uh, I might have to see them inclining more on towards his A side push. Sabri putting out this paranoia up to his canceling it out. That running back. And of course, this can actually be a play that's going to be triggering NR Gaming to go in for the early rotations. But there's literally no need for that given that Zobri is going to be good on its own and completely having full control of the site. Oh, Zopri not only denying the run it back, but also getting the takedown on the Phoenix anyway. NR Gaming already making good with their past and still keeping alive in this fight. 5v4 left. though, pero mukhang may sneaky peeky to may side. Papapasok na kagad si Ditches dyan. Harakiri though, going for the shots already. Up in the air comes Motski, but Javeli by a link and an incredible crossfire there to get the punish on Ditches though. Over at A side, sabi nyo, iwan ang tao dito ha. Pero at the same time, si Toby papasok na dito ng C side. At Ayan na ang Raycon Dart. Tato nakastack dun sa may C-Link mismo. 10 sex left. Hauntus Fury gonna be coming on at Ditches though with a perfect angle and gets an easy kill. But Toby gonna fall. Ditches says, okay, that's done. My job is gonna be over here. 12 to 8. NR Gaming. Ayaw magpatalo. At parang, parang nakita ko lang ito last game, no? <sighs> Ayo, ayo, magpapatalo tong NR Gaming. They have so much in their fighting spirit. And of course, they are going to be showing this once again on towards this matchup on a best of one. But for the side of dreams, I mean, I wonder what's going through their head right now. You know, they cannot even close out this game. And of course, that that is literally almost three rounds in a row that's being won out for NR, well, being won out by the opposing team. And different time and time again you'd see how much determination is going to be coming up from both of them of course how much they are actually going to be going in and how parang parang gano ba karami ibubuhos nila sa mga round na to 
para makapag-secure ng frogs, para makapag-secure ng win. And we are definitely going to be seeing more of that, given that they are going to be playing this one really smartly, but not smart enough. There goes Blizz, picking out Toby, and of course, si Ditches. Full control on towards B side, although the attacking is gonna be inclining more on towards the B side. Take this is a good enough position for him to at least disrupt the rotations. Uh, I like this from Ditch. Same bantay dito sa may B side. Kung may dadaan dito sa area na to, di pwedeng pwede siya makahuli. Pero mga inanticipate na kagad ni Jabali. And our gaming having to deal with that man. Advantage of Dreams. And Ditches with the angle does get the two shots to make it happen. And Dreams will become our third place winner there. Incredible lineup para kay Ditches. And just how they played that one out. Anticipating the push. Anticipating the oncoming rating and what a play that was Galenki Ditches. I mean, it was basically him having better positionings. And this is where we actually could be seeing uh, rather dreams uh, making the most use out of. I mean, given that they didn't have really that much to play around with, they had like the choke points being, uh, they had like there was a point of the game rather that they were literally um, having a, like basically struggling and they still they're still going to be completely relying on the individuality of their lineup. And this we're actually going to be showing Ditches finally um, making things happen for the team. And you know, tinapos na ang laro. There's literally no point of prolonging this agony. Yeah. <laughs> Ditches, he just dug a ditch and put two bodies in it. And it really goes to show this, this Dreams team. They fought on as hard as they could. They had incredible semifinals. They only fell short. But now they're going to be able to take home that 5,000 peso third place prize. But we still got more to grow. But you know who else actually grew in this whole run? That was a great, great effort by the NR Gaming. Kitang kita may potential sila. Kitang kita pag may opportunity na pwede nila kunan dun talaga sila na kuhua na parang para manalo. But when Dreams just turns it up and decides to keep it simple, clean, and effective with the shots, then it's just headshot machine after headshot machine. Someone members nila. It was a big team effort. Galing sa team Dreams, I believe almost all of them. I think all of them actually made it to double digits in the first place, and they kept it close. Ditches though, an absolute MVP, triple double para sa kanya. Yeah, you know, the triple double a bit of a meme because you made it to over 10 deaths. But at the same time, making those assists happen is already such a big, big factor para sa dreams. At yung ending talaga, it was, it was just so very good. So, congrats to dreams making that third place happen. Ling, anything else you want to say about that matchup? I mean, team effort was there. And of course, it's not just going to be one, it's not going to be just a one man show. Everybody had their fair share of contribution to even make this win even possible for the team. And it actually did show coming out from their gameplays. And of course, well deserved naman din coming out from the team dreams to even make it on towards, uh, on towards this part of the tournament. And of course, as the third, second runner up, I might have to say, and get that share of the 50,000 peso prize pool. And you know what else is there to be shared or at least fought for is the rest of the 50k prize. So 45,000 pesos para sa ating grand finals, 30k para sa ating champion, 15k para sa ating first runner up. And that will be next. It is going to be Empire Esports versus Affinity Esports in a best three. And you do not want to miss that. So we will be right back. Dito lang kayo. Stay tuned lang sa Arrow Splits Cup. Dito lang sa Valorant PH.